Hello. Edutainment Studios and Access Healthcare welcome you to Depression, Learning to Control. Today we'll be discussing depression. This module is part one of a five-part series. Everyone feels sad or low sometimes, but these feelings usually pass with a little time. Depression is a mood disorder that causes distressing symptoms that affect how you feel, think, and handle daily activities, such as sleeping, eating, or working. Your brain helps control mood and behavior with three chemicals called neurotransmitters. If your brain makes too much or not enough of these chemicals, this may cause you to become depressed. We know that depression can sometimes run in families. This suggests that there's at least a partial genetic link to depression. Children, siblings, and parents of people with severe depression are somewhat more likely to suffer from depression. Multiple genes interacting with one another in specific ways probably contribute to the various types of depression that run in families. Yet despite the evidence of a family link to depression, it's unlikely that there's a single depression gene, but rather many genes that each contribute small effects toward depression when they interact with the environment. Some life changes, such as the death of a loved one or the end of a valued relationship, are unexpected and out of your control. Losing a loved one is never easy. Some people may be able to get past the loss after a certain amount of grieving time. Others may spiral into a deep depression. Even life changes that you've expected and planned for can be harder to adjust to than you expect. The difficulty, challenges, and conflict that come along with these life changes can contribute to depression and anxiety. Keep in mind that a major life change for one person can affect the whole family. Moving where you live and work at any point in your life is a big production. While the excitement and adrenaline of the move will have you pumped up and energized, often, once that's passed, we're left with feelings of depression and anxiety as we begin to mourn the space and life we've left behind. These feelings can be amplified when moving great distances, as we typically are leaving friends and family behind. Some women are particularly vulnerable to depression after pregnancy. The hormonal and physical changes, as well as the added responsibility of a new life, can lead to postnatal depression. Although every divorce is different, they all have in common huge, sudden changes in social status. You were part of a social unit, and now you're not. Loneliness and fear are common reactions after divorce or separation. Divorce can also bring with it added financial strain. And if there are children involved, custody arrangements and co-parenting decisions can cause ongoing conflict and stress. Being fired or laid off can be a cause of depression symptoms for a variety of reasons. You may feel rejected, mourn the loss of relationships with colleagues, or fear for your financial future. Workplace depression is an area of increasing concern. When an employee is depressed, it can affect not only that employee's productivity and happiness, but the entire mood of his or her coworkers and their productivity too. Luckily, depression in the workplace is not inevitable or hopeless. Problems in relationships with those you care about can be considerably trying. They can trigger confusion, emotional upset, and questions regarding the future of the relationship. In some cases, these problems can contribute to the development of depression or of a depressive episode. Worrying about how to pay the bills causes an extreme amount of stress that, over time, sabotages your mood and self-esteem and can lead to depression. Health concerns may occur before or after you're diagnosed with depression. Another medical problem might be the cause of your depression, a result of the depression, or totally unrelated. You may have a higher risk of depression if you have a long-standing or life-threatening illness, such as coronary heart disease or cancer. Head injuries are also an often under-recognized cause of depression. Some people may have an underactive thyroid resulting from problems with their immune system. In rarer cases, a minor head injury can damage the pituitary gland, which is a pea-sized gland at the base of your brain that produces thyroid-stimulating hormones. This can cause a number of symptoms, such as extreme tiredness and a lack of interest in sex, which can lead to depression. 
please feel free to investigate these other sites for more information, and remember to bring any concerns or questions in to discuss with your doctor. Thank you for joining us today for part one of this five-part series on depression. Please let us know how we did by completing the survey. If you have any suggestions or questions, please send them to us via the survey and come back for part two.